Hello everyone, welcome back again to this uh, tutorial, lesson 4, basic pattern for the dynamics. In this sector, we are going to talk about department analysis. As what we have discussed in the previous tutorials, that we, we found out that there are some people that are overworked and underworked. So now we want to distinguish them by their pain. So whether they are high earners, low earners, or medium earners. And see them based on like uh, the departments and uh, who quit the most and probably why. Okay, so let us try to take a look into this. So how do I find out which department the people that leave the most? Well, it's very simple. What you can do is that N and S stand for T bonds. We have imported that in the past few lessons, and after that we can do factor plot so the two tab for uh, completions. And afterwards, if you want to see the parameters, then you can put in the x x equal to um, cells. So cells are the departments. Okay. And afterwards, you can put data. Data equals to the f f. Then you can put the call. I think it's call. Yeah, c o l. And what do you want to put in the call? If you want to put the salary, because you want to see the salary step by step on the user to type. And afterwards, I one last thing is the time. So I want it to be a count. So if you run this, okay, there's an error here. They couldn't interpret cells. Yeah, because of the small cap and um, uh, small cap big caps. Okay, so we have salary low, medium, and high here, which is what we want. And we can see the departments of cells in the counts. But the cells part, the text is a bit too flimsy. So what we can do with it is that we can put a back and we run it. it looks slightly more squeezy in the middle and we can put size equals to 40 so size is basically just the boundary of this figure and aspect is basically sort the ratio of the resolution I think that's what it is but always confirm to the help so uh, aspect so aspect is a ratio of each facet so aspect size gives the width of each facet in each piece. So it's just this facet, like this one in chart. So basically what I'm doing here is that sales is at the bottom, the department is the x, the x of the chart. But I do an a lattice with the columns, so I separate them based on the salary that is low, medium, and high. And from here we can see that cells actually leave a lot, as we see in the low and medium. Income, but the answer is why do they have different working situations? Do they have lower satisfactions? That's what we want to find out next. So why sales leave the company a lot? So now I prepared this um, chart that we can use in order to start making our diagrams. And what we want to do here is something that is called bar plots. So SNS and I also have a method called bar plots. So just type together with me. And afterwards, I can put in the data. Uh, for example, let me confirm. Okay, x. I can put x else, and I can put y uh, of the satisfaction level. If I know this is working, and I can run it. Oh, I need to put it in the into the format x. So a x equal to x one. And could not interpret the input cells. Okay, um, should be able to interpret it. And oh right, yeah, I forgot the data. So the data is the F. So run it again, and there you go. Now I have this part, uh, box plot. However, it seems like it's not intuitive enough. Like I can see much of the lines, the quadrant. So let us add on more like uh by uh data y x yeah let's add it again by q u is one zero point eight uh. Okay, 
so I have this okay let me turn on the other feature audio let me pause for a while and see why it is this sorry for that so now I understand why I'm I'm it wrong it doesn't show uh, the box plot is because that I type it as a box plot. So if I put it as a box plot like this, so you will, yeah, you will make a uh, very distant correlation. And this one is not necessary. So I run it again, and there you go. And there are still some three more spaces there. So what we can do is that we can copy paste this and detect different kinds of level. So we can two and three and four. And what we want to find out? Well, we can find out about time spent in company. Okay. Time. Oh, sorry. Time spent company. We can also do a satisfaction level, number of projects, number of projects, and finally, it is not uh, yeah, approximately approximately. Okay, I press one the hour. So this one. And okay, I just forgot the name. So after we run this, oh, forgot the question right up here. After we run here, then it will generate our chart. Okay, for the greens here, we can see that they have quite good satisfaction level, especially compared to the accounting. They have quite good uh, like product management and marketing, even though they are slightly higher. Uh, in terms of the time span of the company, they are good. Number of projects they are still okay. Average money hour, they are fine. Okay, let's try last solution. I believe this is the name. Uh, last evaluations wise, yeah, they are, they have quite a good evaluations. So, why do they quit the most initially? Well, we can't really predict from here. So, far they are not much. In fact, they are quite like the other departments that are performing and not quitting as much as the sales. So, we cannot really determine the reasons here. There's no apparent reason. But what we know is that marketing and product management have high satisfaction levels so you can see that they have quite similar uh, profile as the as the sales department but they are quite low in the conversion rate however accounting is quite low in the conversion rate but as you can see they are actually not satisfied with, the, with what they are doing which is horrible like um, among the Quarter 3 is below 0 0.5, so most of them are unsatisfied, let's say, but they don't quit. So it's a good analysis for us to not only understand one point of view within the general living profiling, but also within the departments. But now we know that sales companies are company basically because of other reasons or possibly because of the salaries, because in the low salaries, and medium salaries, a lot of like sales departments are leaving. So maybe it's because of that, we are not sure yet, but maybe it's something that we can do on the future. For now, that's all about the uh, uh, department analysis. So we have come up with this results analysis, and moving on is the model generation where we are going to start predicting and evaluating the models to classify who's gonna leave and who's not going to leave. With that, thank you so much. Sampai jumpa. See you in the next session.